Good morning. Oh, let me sit up here. Ooh, turn this other light on. There we go. It's 52 in here. It's nice and warm. It's not bad out. Uh, the weather outside has been really nice. So it's six o'clock. It's my ritual. I get up around five or six in the morning every day. I hit the gym up for a couple of hours, try to stay in shape, uh, try to adhere to a routine. I always tell you when you live in a, a vehicle, a van, a car, or whatever, just establish some routine. Um, I was thinking it would be fun the entire winter to sleep at different places instead of sleeping where I've been sleeping, which is fine. I'm going to continue to sleep at my spots that I've that are safe and that I've been doing that I know I'm good at. But I think for this winter, the month of December, just the winter period, I'm gonna try to switch up the spots that I sleep. I think that'll make it more fun for me. I think it'll kind of spruce up. Uh, like, just give me something different to look forward to. We're going to, we're gonna be, I think I have a couple places where I'm gonna case out today. I'm gonna case out a Lowe's parking lot and a Home Depot parking lot. And I think I'm gonna attempt to sleep in one of those parking lots tonight. And I have never attempted to sleep in those parking lots at night. Now Lowe's, I did during the day when it was busy people coming through. I had to do it, you know, just for a few hours and I had to go back to work. So that was easy, it was, it was open. But I'm talking about at night when these businesses are closed. So after I finish, doing what I'm doing right before it gets dark. We're gonna, well, no, nah, not before it gets dark, but during the day when people are out and about, we're gonna case out those parking lots and I'm gonna pick a parking lot and we're gonna overnight camp in one of those parking lots tonight. Hopefully I don't get the knock. If I do, I deserve it. But hopefully there, I don't ever recall seeing signs that say no overnight camping, no overnight parking, but I'm still gonna lick anyways. And uh, based on how I feel, based on the concealment, I'm gonna pick one of those parking lots and we're gonna overnight camp in one of those parking lots. It's gonna be so fun. I'm excited, you know? And I'm excited for tonight's dinner. Hopefully it turns out good. There's this really cool Class B um, RV park next to me. It's an old school one. Um, it's pretty freaking nice. It's pretty cool. Um, I did find a place um, to fill up my water. I think it's 39 cents a gallon. I think it's even cheaper than Walmart. So today we might go fill that up. Um, since I, it's just gonna be um, a typical day with me. Again, for those of you who are new to my channel, this is just everyday living in an RV. Everyday living in a class B RV. So I think I'm gonna go fill that up today. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do today too. But Gym, shower, first order of business. I'm so happy. The weather has been really good these last couple days. It's only 51 in here. It's comfortable. You ain't seeing my breath when I talk. This is wonderful. This is so freaking wonderful. I don't know if I've mentioned this too. Uh, if you decide to like camp part-time in your vehicle or live in a vehicle, whether it be an RV or a car, wherever you sleep for the night, whether it's your regular spot and you feel safe and comfortable, just make sure you leave before the sunrise. You know, come at night and leave at night. Come when it's dark, leave when it's dark. You're less obvious that way. People don't start recognizing you in the daylight. Just leave before it gets light out. It's a little past six, so I'm trying to get out of here before seven o'clock kids, because that's when it starts getting light out. So yeah. <laughs> another hoodie gotta switch out my hoodie um so right now i'm not gonna make any breakfast i'm not hungry i'm gonna go get a coffee 
Um, I do have a subscription that I pay. This is a new subscription that I recently started doing. I, one of my favorite gas stations, they have a subscription where you pay $5.99 a month to get one large cup of coffee for free every day. So I'm gonna go get my free cup of, it's technically not free, but it actually is a good deal. $5.99 a month for one large coffee um, a day for 30 days. And then after that, we're gonna go fill up my fresh water jug for 39 cents a gallon. And then we're gonna go scope out the Lowe's and Home Depot parking lot. I'm gonna figure out which one I'm gonna sleep in uh, tonight. And then uh, I gotta do laundry. And I gotta do some work at the library. So it's got a, I got a busy day, busy, busy day. I also forgot to show you guys, I put up my curtains. I mean, look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Looks good. It covers the floor, nothing gets in. I mean, the sides show a little bit, but not bad, right? Now look at this one. Slowly turn. I put that one up too using um, command hooks. And I, I leave my door open all day because I don't have a way of keeping it closed when I drive. So I leave it open. But at nighttime, I shut my bathroom doors and then this goes over the doors and it's really freaking warm. So yeah, guys, look at my van. It's coming along. Got the curtains up. The 360, what? Looks good, right? Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I mean, I just, you know, there we go. But when I drive, I leave it closed. I don't open it. It doesn't uh, open. I got this off Amazon right here. Um, these are, it's sticky. It's stuck to the upholstery, but it doesn't harm the upholstery. Oh, uh, you see that uh, painter's tape that goes all the way across? Um, I got the crack covered. I saw a huge spider trying to come out of the crack. When I say the spider was huge, it was probably the size of a half dollar with thick black legs. And I tried to kill it, it went back up in the crack. So now I put command tape, or I put painter's tape all across it. And I switched my shelves around again to make it a lot easier. So as you can see, I'll go over that a little later. But now it's time for us to head out. Go get that coffee. Go get the water. Go scope out our area. Mm, mm, mm. Um, vanilla ice latte. This is nice. Ooh. All right, on to we're gonna do the water um, after we scope out uh, Home Depot and Lowe's parking lot. So now we're gonna go to Home Depot or Lowe's parking lot first, scope it out. Then we're gonna go to Home Depot's parking lot, scope it out, and then we're gonna figure out which one we're gonna sleep at tonight. Yeah, let's go. We are at Lowe's. Let's go park and then figure out if this is gonna be the spot where we're going to be boot camping for the night.
So literally the only spot that I see in this whole parking lot that would be kind of stealthy for me to park and not be bothered is that corner right there. You see there's still got trees, you still got like leaves on it. It's kind of concealed, you can't really see. Let's roll the window down a bit, hopefully. You see, that little corner right there would be the only spot that I would probably feel safe in sleeping because the rest of this parking lot, the trees have no leaves, you know, I'd be exposed. So Lowe's has a one promising spot. Let's go look at Home Depot. Um, if they don't pan out, I do have another place I, I could stealth camp at, but we're gonna go check out Home Depot and then we'll go from there. We are at Home Depot. Let's see if there are any spots over here where we can stealth camp for the night. Um, look at all those trees. Let's take a look over here in this little lot. Let's take a look in this little lot. Uh, this doesn't look too, eh, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good either. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good. It looks too exposed. If there's any spot that I would even trust stealth camping at, would be probably in that corner right there um yeah this parking lot so far is a no-go let's see down here this is this is customer parking it looks like they got stop signs um it's nice and lots of trees and brush you know that looks kind of a nice probably an area i wouldn't mind kind of stealth camping at home depot does not look like a good option at all I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah, doesn't look like a good option uh, at all. Uh, Lowe's would look like a better option, honestly. And uh, yeah, there's really no parking that I would trust over here. Um, at all. Come on. Yeah, Home Depot, mm, it's probably not gonna happen. There's not a lot of spots. I like the fact that there's a tree line right there on the other side of that parking lot. Uh, there's that tree line, uh, but it's facing the business. So I don't think that that would be a right thing for me, honestly. So Lowe's is looking like a better option, but I'm gonna have to think about it. Right now I'm on my way to Walmart Supercenter um, to fill up my seven gallon water jug. It's, they say it's typically 50 cents a gallon, but location varies. Um, I thought the location that I found earlier was closer to me, but it's actually a, a, far, a far drive. So doing a Google search, Walmart's uh, Supercenter's have it where you can fill it up. And I did see it there at this Walmart, but I thought you had to buy a certain jug and you couldn't just bring your own, but apparently you can. So 50 cents a gallon, not bad. And it's filtered fresh water. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go fill it up today. So I'll see you guys when I get to Walmart. at Walmart Supercenter. Let's find parking. I just go in there with this I have never done it so here we go I'm just gonna go in hopefully I don't get stopped I shouldn't it's all new to me guys so anything that's new to me I'm always nervous so I'm just gonna ask somebody I'll see you guys inside okay, here it is it's 39 cents a gallon so I'm assuming I set it up here I started and then they gave me a receipt because I don't see anywhere to pay. So let's get started. Finally figured it out. I had to remove the wire, but there it is. Filling it up. So 
Oh, for seven gallons of water, I paid $2.73. My only regret is, why did I fill it up all the way? I should not have done the full seven gallons. This is the heaviest thing of water I have ever held in my life because I know it's, I know it's heavier than seven gallons. So, oh my goodness, this is heavy. It's gonna be fun taking it out of this cart. This thing is heavy. But on the good note, I'm happy that I only paid $7 or $2.73. Oh man, I gotta get that heavy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this should be fun. I did it. I will never, ever fill this thing up to capacity if I have to carry it out of this van ever again. That is so heavy. So, so heavy. Holy crap. Oh, I still have to get it back there. Oh, I'll see you guys in a minute. walking at one of my favorite parks just getting some more cardio in getting some more exercise in and uh look at the view beautiful huh but uh yeah uh it's about i don't know this whole strip from there to back is probably i'd say like three miles so i walk from one end to the other probably, probably a total of six miles so yeah, this is what I'm doing. It's very peaceful. Uh, get to think, get to clear my mind, get to see nature. I love it. Any chance I get to be around water is a chance I'm jumping at, so. We are coming up on it. We are here. We are gonna hurry up and park and cut off our vehicle. I don't see anybody else in here. I see one car. But uh, yeah, let's hurry up. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it down. Turn on the lights. We're gonna park right in this little corner right here. All right, I'll see you in a minute. We are here and this is what it looks like kind of creepy um parking lot is completely empty with the exception of one car that is down like right there i don't know if y'all can see it's a small car but other than that we are pretty much alone you know i got some trees concealment over here trees behind me and then these trees right here so I'm hoping I'm good. I think I'm just gonna chill here for a minute and fill the place out. Um, I like that the parking lot is really lit. Um, I feel completely safe. Um, yeah, so we're gonna chill for a minute before I get comfortable. I wanna make sure everything is good.
Here is the finished results. Uh, eggs, Korean barbecue, rice, uh, soy sauce, and cheese. One piece of hard body cheese. Um, I wanted something different. I wanted to make tofu, but my tofu is frozen in the fridge. Apparently, my refrigerator is too cold. Um, I made my eggs how a viewer in my chat in one of my previous videos said make it. Uh, that's the video when I went to the hotel. Um, they said that they were an egg chef. And remember when I loved those eggs, they said that the eggs were more likely made with Greek yogurt. So I added Greek yogurt in my eggs and these eggs are freaking fluffy. Insane. Um, I'm currently in the Lowe's parking lot. I'm, there's one other car, but it's parked way down there and I'm not sure if it's empty. It looks empty. I'm not sure, but so far so good. It's quiet. The parking lot's nicely lit and I'm in a little corner where you can't really see me because I have trees on this side of me and trees in the back of me. And I'm not worried about security as my security has been updated. So I feel completely safe. So yeah, we'll see how the night goes. I got a leave by 5 a.m. because Lowe's opens up at 6 and I don't want um, to be seen or anything like that. So I'm definitely going to be gone uh, by 5 a.m. I'm going to set my alarm to get up at like, like, like 4.45. First bite goes to you. Get you a nice big bite. Good, huh? Mmm. The soy sauce is a nice touch. Mmm. The cheese is subtle. It's 54 degrees in here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is nice. Um, I like the area that I'm at because there's, you can hear cars going by. So it's not bad. It's not all the time, but every once in a while you'll hear cars. The area's kind of pretty quiet. Mm, this rice is really nice. Mm, mm, mm. It's not hot. It's just real steamy. This is not hot at all. This is nice. I didn't go to the movies today, which I truly wanted to do. Um, and I didn't do laundry. I just stayed at the library. I did a lot, a lot of work. And I went to the park. I went for a nice walk. It's a nice trail. It's probably like two and a half, three miles long. In one direction. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. So I walked all the way to the end and then came all the way back. It was really nice. The water. It was just a very nice, fun atmosphere. Mmm. This rice is good. I'm glad I didn't use a lot. It's just subtle. It's not like the rice is not overpowering. Mm. I know this meal is not ideal, but I wanted to make soup using tofu. But like I said, my tofu is frozen. I need to cut my refrigerator down. I guess it's too cold or too high. Ooh. Mm, this is so nice. That water jug is so heavy and I need water. Like I'm dying of thirst. I don't have any bottles and I need water out of that. And that thing is so freaking heavy. Mm. 
Seven gallons of water equals 58 pounds. <laughs> mm. Fifty-eight pounds is heavy, but it's not that heavy. But it's heavy when you have to lift it out of a cart, and I'm short. So that's that was right there was a test. Mm. I'm dying of thirst, so I'm gonna have to figure out um, how to get that water out of there. I think next time I don't know if I'm gonna fill it up. Uh, to that that much probably do five gallons instead of seven and if i boondock somewhere where i'm gonna be off grid for a while then i'll do seven. Oh, this is so good oh yeah i did offer you guys a bite only one i'm sorry so sorry I'm sad. It's over. Um, I had a good productive day. Um, hopefully tonight goes well and I sleep well and I don't get disturbed. Like I said, I'm not worried. I do have really good security. So I'm really not worried about anything tonight. But I do, as you could tell, have one of my pillows still on my bed just in case um, I have to leave or anything like that. So... I can just jump in and go and I don't have a bunch of stuff blocking my view when I'm driving. But I'm exhausted. I'm tired. <laughs> it's time for me to go to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning to let you know how tonight goes. Um, hopefully I sleep undisturbed, which I'm sure I will. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning to let you not guys know how uh, my night went. So see you guys bright and early in the morning. Oh man, the time is 4.40 in the morning and I slept decent, I slept good. I didn't have anybody bother me, I didn't get the knock, but I have to get ready to go because uh, Lowe's parking lot is about to have a bunch of employees in it probably soon. They open up at 6 and it's almost 5, so I got to hurry up and get ready to get out of here, but Oh my gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> Let's take a look outside and uh, see what's going on outside. It's almost 5 o'clock and a truck just pulled in. But the rest of the parking lot is empty. So we're going to get ready to get out of here before, I don't know, it could be a manager, it could be a store manager before the police gets called on us. But we're going we're gonna to leave. But uh, yeah, it was a good night. Let me show you how it was set up. You see the tree line? Uh, the tree line right there kind of blocked me a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna really get out of here. Let's go. Driving off as more people are pulling in. So let's roll. Let's get the heck out of Lowe's. So I'm glad I left when I did. Um, two people were pulling in. It's currently 4.52 in the morning. Um, that was an exhilarating experience. It was something I've never done before. I had the whole parking lot to myself when I woke up. The car, the one car that was there, they were gone. So, uh, we didn't get the knock, so it was a success. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for all your support, all the, the comments, all the uh, interaction, the engagement on my videos. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed our dinner last night, even though it was a short one. Um, but yeah, it's time for me to hit the gym and get a shower. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.